For those who are not satisfied with Alliance of American football games and need a real football fix, the NFL is coming to the rescue. The scaling combine starts. It's a boring skills competition featuring young players in t-shirts and shorts and football shoes doing drills such as running and weightlifting. The NFL says the National Football League Scaling Combine is a vital event in the path to the draft. More than 300 prospects will be participating in their quest to achieve their NFL dreams. But not every college player is eligible for the Combine. Players have to be invited and need three years of college experience and then have to be good citizens. The NFL is proving that by not inviting defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons, thought to be a highly coveted player, and Preston Williams to the T-shirt and shorts show because they do not meet the scouting combine standards for citizenship. Both have had violence issues. Simmons was arrested after being caught on video striking a woman. The incident got him a one-game suspension from his school, Mississippi State. Williams was arrested in September 2017 and charged with domestic abuse. Three years ago, the NFL decided to ban players with convictions for violence, using a weapon, domestic violence, or sexual assault from attending the Combine. Simmons and Williams are just ineligible for the Combine and could play in the NFL. The Combine has been anchored in Indianapolis for the past 32 years, but the NFL could relocate the event. Indianapolis officials think the Combine helps the city competitively because of national TV attention. Indianapolis may get as many as 4,000 people coming into town for the event, and they leave behind about $6 million. But Indianapolis may have to bid against others for the 2021 event. The NFL likes money. I'm Evan Weaver for the Politics of Sports Business.